home to approximately 300,000 residents and 10,000 businesses and offering everything from finance to fashion. Santon is the business and entertainment hub of Gauteng. And at the heart of it is Santon City, where around 2 million feet per month walk through its shops. The mall was initially built in 1973, covering 50,000 square meters. Today, with the refurbishment of its new section, the original center would be able to fit in the new center four times over. This is just one of Liberty Property's seven retail spaces that sits in its property portfolio with 18 billion rand. The nature of shopping centers is changing. Shopping centers are not simply places where people come and, and shop. Uh, we love them to come and shop, absolutely. But we need to create an environment where people can gather, uh, people can interact, people can hold the family, the whole family can come and find different niches and of course at the end of it go, go, go home with uh, full bags. But while development in some shopping centres in Gauteng is booming, further down the N1 highway in Pretoria, the picture isn't quite as rosy. Behind me stands the empty shell of the Villa Life shopping mall. The project was started in 2007 and was intended to house 119,000 square metres of retail space. Today, without the backing of investors, it stands incomplete and empty. The Villa Life and Zambezi Mall form part of the ShareMax Group, a company that promotes property syndication. Initially, the group managed a fund of 5 billion rand with 30,000 investors. Davi Ruet, former independent director of ShareMax Syndication, says that the project failed for various reasons. The business plan of ShareMax and some of the other property syndications uh, companies were fundamentally flawed because there simply was too much cost involved in the whole process. I'm referring, for example, to the, the brokerage fees paid to brokers. That's one thing. The prices at which some of these properties were syndicated were quite often um, perhaps a little bit too high. And there were, or there were uh, uh, guaranteed incomes to these different investments. ShareMax investors are yet to hear from the group just how much they've lost in the debacle as the case is still being worked out by the courts. But the experience hasn't soured Roth on the investment case for retail property. Investing in property now is actually a good idea. And the reason why I say so is because interest rates are low. And you can go through history. When interest rates are low, property prices go up. Maybe not immediately, there could be leads and lags. But the environment now, money is cheap and that's good for property. But the reality also is, it's always about three things, and that's location, location, location. And also, from a retail point of view, there are signs, tentative signs, that retail sales are picking up in the economy, that demand is slowly coming back to the South African economy, suggesting that perhaps retail investments could be a good thing as well. So it's not only a matter of looking at the economic cycle, of course, you have to look at the quality of a specific investment or a specific retail um, uh, um, uh, shopping centre, for example, before you make a decision like that. But fundamentally, and from a macroeconomic point of view, maybe property, property is the place to be at the moment. With interest rates at 35-year lows, some believe that the retail property sector is ripe for correction. We've been through a bit of a boom, which we did, and one has to remember that the boom that we've just been through, and I've just recently done some work, is probably the biggest property boom that South Africa has seen since the Second World War. We saw a small one in the 60s, another one in the 80s, and then 2000. Every 20 years we have a major boom. And so yes, invariably, retail was the darling of South African investors, um, and the level of development flowed that. So, as we get to, to this point, of course the game has slowed down. The question is not so much whether we are overshopped, but rather what type of shopping will we see in the future. Viruli suggests that developers will now follow retailers into other African countries. But until they manage to reap the rewards of a greater reach on the continent, their key focus for now is South Africa. Well, thankfully, we will be getting a good return on investment. Uh, um, clearly, it is, a, is it a center that attracts enormous footfall, has very good turnover, and it's sustained its value over time. Um, a center of this nature, a super regional center, uh, will, of course, not have the same in terms of a percentage return as you might f find in a smaller shopping center. But certainly, it's a competitive return. Our investors are very happy with it, and um, clearly, our shoppers and our tenants are very happy with it. So 
all in all, the, 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 return to, the returns are good and um, the experience is good, which is the main thing.